Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to download Windows updates for Slipstreaming into your Windows 10 or to be fair, any other Windows edition ISO. So while the program that you've previously seen me download NT Lite can do this, it's always nice to have a backup just in case. So for this we're going to use WH Downloader, which used to be called Windows Hotfix Downloader. And you can get that from Major Geeks, www.majorgeeks.com slash files slash details slash windows underscore hotfix underscore downloader dot html. Once there, click the download now link. and wait for it to download. There we go. Once it's downloaded, oh, it wouldn't let me double click it. So I can close that just now. Once it's been downloaded, it will download to a folder or something similar to this, or rather a zip file. You have to right click and extract all. Just put it in a folder, the same name, so extract's fine. And there we go, that's it being extracted. So we can close that window and we just double click in wh-downloader.exe. User account control should kick in. So I'll click yes when it does. There we go. Up here, we click on download the latest list. And give it a moment. We then select from the download list what we're wanting to download. So as you can see, it's got all of the Office from 2010, 2013 to 2016, and Windows from 8.1 up to Windows 10. We're using Windows 10 x64, so we'll click that. As you can see, there's uh, 24 general upgrades for this, including .NET and some hotfixes. So you can right-click and select all, and then click Download. As you can see, it's created a folder called Updated Lists and Updates, or rather Updates List. So presumably it's downloading them, there we go. Yeah, it's downloading the updates into that folder that it just created. As you can see here, it's 2 of 24 updates, but a total of 3.24 gigabyte. That's pretty big. That may take some time. Okay, so that's actually completed now. So if we go back into our updates folder, into Windows 10, general, not sure why it splits these in here into the different numbers. I don't actually know. Let's have a look at the information, see if it tells us. Okay, so the numbers are the different Windows versions, which is interesting. I guess that will depend on which version of Windows it's detected in the system because it's not actually been given a version to look at. That's fair enough. So let's just close that just now. And there we go. This will be the folder that we will add to our Windows 10 Slipstream and Disk. So let's move on to the next part. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, 
Thank you for watching.